Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alyssa and this is House Plants with Alyssa. If you are new here, this is a houseplant channel where we go plant shopping, talk about my plants and just do general planty things. Today, I have a lot of things that I need to do. So I figured I would bring you along with me. I have to repot my big gloriosum. I'm a little nervous about it because the new growth is kind of soft on the side, which concerns me a little bit. However, it did go through a lot of trauma. So I feel like some damage was bound to happen, but we're gonna get in that pot today. We're gonna see what's going on. <laughs> I have to clean my plants. Uh, some of them I've been trying to keep up with my weekly cleaning, go along with my cleaning process with you guys, show you what I do there. I have a lot of other things to repot. There's just a lot. There's a lot of plants just everywhere that need to be put somewhere. So we're gonna start doing stuff. <laughs> Probably gonna start with the Gloriosum just because that's the biggest thing on my mind right now. And I really wanna just like knock that out of the way. So I'm gonna go grab that beast. We're gonna start. We're gonna start repotting it. <laughs> okay, so I have here the Gloriosum, which you can see is large and a lot perkier than when I got it. Let me see if I can show you. This is that new growth that I'm a little worried about because it feels a little soft at the base right there. So hopefully it's okay. But if I do lose the new leaf, I'm not that worried about it. If anything, I'll just cut the plant right there and try to get some new growth from it. For from it, try to get some, I'll try to get some new growth from it. Or sometimes with my plants, if I have a new leaf die off, I still get another leaf from it. So I'll hope that's the case with this one. Worst case scenario. So first, I'm gonna mix my soil here. I always use Fox Farm Ocean Forest for my like base soil, and then I add in mix-ins. So I am going to mix with some charcoal, some orchid bark, and I have some leca balls that I just washed up here uh, to help with some of the moisture. It's gonna be a pretty thick mix, but tip, if you ever need to wash your leca beforehand, which you should because they're dirty, orchid baskets are the best for that because then you can just fill it up in here and then run it under the sink and let all the water drain out. So I have that all ready to go here and I'm gonna start this mixing. I just want to say I don't have the most glorious potting setup. I used to just do it outside when it was warmer but now there's winter and it's about like 50 40, I think outside today I've had to try to do all of this inside so this is the realistic look at my potting situation a lot of cardboard and a lot of sweeping up afterwards all right so I have my soil I'm gonna make a lot because even if I have a lot left over I still have some other aeroids that I need to pot today so I might as well make a lot of my mix <laughs> So this is my mix. Oops, I just spilled some. But yeah, this one I didn't make as thick as some of my other ones just because this is a pretty large plant and I don't want it to dry out like every day like some of the other ones can. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna slide the soil aside for now. I just wanted to have it ready. That's one of the biggest mistakes that I've made so many times is I will take a plant out of its um, soil and everything and then I have it unrooted and I'm like, oh, I have to mix the soil and I'm like trying to set the plant down somewhere or hold it with one hand. So make your soil first, make your life easier. <sighs> How do I even start? So I guess I'll try to just loosen this up this way a little bit. This plant, as I said before, it came from Tennessee Tropicals. They are amazing. All their plants look so beautiful. They had come to the aeroid show, so they had to travel with this plant. And then, you know, I walked around with it at the aeroid show in hot sun for an hour and a half. And then it was just adjusting. And so it was pretty droopy, but look at it. 
you wouldn't even know it's really come back like this leaf was not standing up at all it was like laying down it's looking a lot better okay okay oh man this is when i wish i had gabe like he went in the other room to let me do this and i was like oh <laughs> how do i do this without hurting you okay i'm gonna try just pouring soil out all right, I'm trying to do this so gently because I don't wanna disturb the roots too much. I think it's almost to the point where I could reach in there and pull it out. Another thing, no matter what, when a place tells you something's good, and to leave it in the soil you never know i had a plant the other day that looked seemingly so healthy looked really good you would have never thought something was wrong with this plant and i mean it was showing no signs of pests i get into the soil the soil looks good for the most part i get deep into the soil infestation of eggs that hadn't hatched yet luckily found it you know got that right in the dumpster and out of my house immediately but you know i repotted it i got every inch of soil off those roots i didn't care if the plant was gonna suffer from me touching the roots that much i just needed all that nasty soil out of there so now i just repot everything no matter what all right uh. okay this might be the be the way okay all right so here we go right the roots are looking good on the very bottom so that's good it looks like some of these up here had dried out but that's fine we'll get rid of those These roots are a lot, I mean like the big roots are thick, but the little ones coming off of it are a lot finer than I thought. Man, look at that growth. It actually feels really good down here. So the leaf is kind of soft up there. So I do think that, oh, it looks like there might be another growth right there. Oh God, I don't want to get closer yet because I'm going to drop soil everywhere. Oh, and right there. I don't know if this is an aerial root busting out or if it's another growth point. It kind of looks like a growth point. So we're gonna hope for growth point because that would be really exciting. But yeah, look at these roots. So I was waiting to see how the roots were to decide what type of pot I wanted to put it in. They're, they're only about this long. So I do think that this pot was a bit large because look how much soil that was just stuck down there. That was like, the roots were just sitting in. Yeah, I do think that that pot was a bit big. Another thing, gloriosum, if you don't know, are crawling philodendrons, hence the way this thing is growing. So as you can see, we got the old leaf right here and it kept on creeping out leaves and they crawl. So it is best to have them in a, um, either an oval or a rectangular pot so that they can keep growing and crawling. But I have seen videos of people who let them jump the pot and just keep crawling down the side. Kaylee Ellen, she has a huge philodendron gloriosum that is just, it puts this one to shame. And um, hers has jumped the pot and looks like it's doing great. Eventually you would have to cut it and propagate it. That's not really a problem for me. I would love to propagate this plant eventually, but I would also love to just let it jump the pot and um, crawl so all of that to say i'm gonna put it in this pot okay so i have the gloriosum safely down i have my new better mix right here and i have this pot which is still almost as wide so it still will have the width for the gloriosum but it does get a little more shallow at the bottom so that should be better to hold a little less soil and have the roots because they aren't super long not sit in a ton of water so we're gonna see oh all right probably like that <laughs> I 
I realized <laughs> I wanted to put this a lot further back in the pot so it had room to climb the rest of the way, but I really don't want to disturb it after everything I just did. So I think I'm just going to YOLO and maybe if I have to repot it eventually then I'll just deal with that. For now it's just going to be happy. So how stable is this? It's pretty stable. No it's not. <laughs> Well, actually, I might get my wish, put it a little further back, because I think I need to fix this. All right, there it is. All repotted and enough room to keep crawling. So you can see now it has enough room to keep crawling, because this is the newest leaf and I have a few inches on me, and then it can eventually trail over the pot. Ooh. So there we go. I am gonna cut probably this old stem leaf that had dried up and fell off. I might cut that. I don't know, it's not really bothering me too much. And then, yeah, there we go. There's my beautiful plant. So yeah, I just have to water this one, um, but I am gonna go grab my bark and uh, the few other plants that I have to get repotting. So I will be back. I have my soil mixed here and I am going to now repot this silver sword that I picked up recently from Eclectic Plant Goods and Gabe had picked up this little silver sword right here. So I need to repot both of these, but I'm gonna start with the big one. Look, this one was another cutting with another growth point. Oh. Surprise! And then this one, so I have two silver swords. Nice. So I'm gonna put that right there. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna use this uh, more shallow six inch pot for the, the silver sword or silver sword. Really make sure this soil is mixed up. Boba. You just watching? We got the silver swords the other day from a plant pop-up. I've been really wanting one and I hadn't seen them for a while, so I was super excited to come across them. So I think that one looks pretty good in there. Gabe is over here and he potted up the little littler silver sword. Really make sure that's stable in there. Alright. Nice. And that one's all done up. So I can go back on the cover pot and then be watered. And then the other day in a Facebook purge, cause those are like the best worst things to get plants in, Gabe picked up a little baby, very tiny baby, Jose Bueno. So that needs to be repotted too. And I will show you guys how very tiny baby that is. All right, so yes, this is the little baby Jose Bueno we got. The variegation is near impossible to pick up on camera. When we bought it, we were like, does it have variegation? And yeah, you can see it in person. And look, there's another little one growing right there. So, boom. Thick. Wow, this thing has a lot more roots going on. Oh, yeah, you would, some of these roots look like they're kind of, eh. but it also looks like it's growing some new ones. Some of these roots look like they're kind of dried up at the very bottom. So I'm just gonna cut back some of the dead looking ones. This side looks pretty good. I don't wanna mess with it too much because it is growing. So here it is which yeah you can see in the light there's definitely some dry but it's growing some new aerial roots and everything so that's where these are coming out of and those look not terrible not great felt pretty dry in general just the mix and i think also just needed to be watered all right so i have this little guy potted up now and it's looking pretty good 
and in a much smaller pot so the roots aren't in as much wet soil plus this mix is pretty chunky oh so look there's another little growth popping out right here there's probably another aerial root so hopefully that will give me some new fresh roots as well do you want to do the decursiva yeah. we picked this one up from the Facebook purge, he also had got another one from her. It is a Fafita Forta Decursiva and it is large. Like it is one of the biggest <laughs> Fafita Forta leaves I have seen. There it is. Look at this leaf. Isn't that massive? Check out the stem. There's the new growth coming up right there. So this is the next one to go. It looks like it might've been air layered. Oh my gosh, look how healthy those roots are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one has some really healthy roots going on already. Very incredibly healthy. Man, it is thunderstorming outside. I do not know if the mic is picking up that like the freaking thunder right now, but it is intense. And this stem is just huge. Look at that. So I have never had a decursiva. We had been wanting one ever since we watched one of Nick Pelegi's videos. He, right, yeah, he was talking about them, I'm pretty sure. They are just, I didn't expect to get this big of a cutting though. Here, can you hold that? This one has so many roots. Look at that, those aerial roots coming out the side too. This thing is going. All right, I think that that one is looking pretty good. All right, so we have that one. You can see the mix there. Boom, I think that's it. Oops, I think that's it for the repotting. Now I just have to water some plants, which I just use a, well, our Brita actually recently used a ph kit to check our tap water and without doing anything to it it was pretty acidic and then just running it through a brita filter made it almost entirely the perfect level for health plants so now we just run a ton of it through a brita filter and then we fill these gallons that we have over here sitting on the counter just pretty much non-stop and we use that for our humidifiers and to water the plants and it makes it super easy and I know for a fact that the pH levels are the right acidity level for the plant. So yeah, I'm gonna go water these real quick and then we're gonna do some plant cleaning. I'm gonna go put these away and try to find a cover pot somewhere in my house for this thing somewhere. <laughs> All right, so now off to cleaning. Hey guys, super future Alyssa here. So I realized as I was editing this video that it was super long. So I decided to just make this one a repotting video and I'm gonna have my cleaning process and plant room reorganization in the next video. If you have made it this far, I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys as always. If you have not subscribed, please don't forget to do so so you don't miss any videos from me. And also if you would like to see any specific content from me or certain videos please leave a comment down below i would love to see what you guys want to see and you can follow my instagram as well if you want to see any of my personal plant updates or you know shoot me a message it is at plantlandia and uh yeah i think that's just about everything so thank you guys and i will see you next time